Yeah, there's, there's a lot of Counter-Strike still to come here for the uh, ESWC Championship. Yes, it is stacked. It is stacked. It's a real pleasure. But now, going into the knife round here, LDLC versus Cloud9. Again, oh, nice camera work there. But again, it seems kind of arbitrary as to who's going to get the start on which side between it's both of these teams. It's the GTA 1 style, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, that game was so much fun. It really was. You get all the cheat codes and everything, too. Pile up all the cars and watch them explode one at a time in one long chain and have the whole police force following you, yes. Well, I don't know what to say. I, I would actually say that, uh, so I guess I do know what to say. LDLC, I think, are favorites for this one. Um, not by a huge margin, but uh, but I would say that they, they should, you know, they should in a perfect world be able to win this. And the standoff, and then Sean Gares actually shanks Shroud. That's not gonna help here, 3v2. Now it, becomes the, now it begins the hunt, right? It was the standoff, and now it's chaos. I mean, the betting tendency was 65% in favor of uh, of LDLC, 35% mm -hmm. for Cloud9. I think that's actually not cool. I w if when I say favorites, I mean like 55-45% type deal. I think this is actually a pretty close match. But yeah, I can give I can give them 10%. Knife round, don't think it's going to make a big difference. But um, still fun to see them struggle. And Hiko is going to get that, pi that knife. Not that pistol, that knife. So they're going to get to decide which side they'll be starting on here. Uh, yeah. That was a huge win. Cloud9 looking very cool and composed right now. And LDLC as well. Do we have in-game sound just to be sure that that's going on? All right. Cool. Very cool. Um, let's see. One thing to note here is that LDLC do have not that home team advantage, but they do certainly have the crowd behind them because this is also being yeah. broadcast on the main stage or one of the one of the main stages here at uh, ESWC, right on the other side of the wall. So every time LDLC makes something happen, bam! It's like the whole place blows up. So we'll have to see you know, if that's going to fa factor in at all here. Cloud9, you know, they're going to be hearing that happen every single time. It's going to come down to the, some mental fortitude here for the North American team. Definitely. Definitely will be. I mean, they should be used to that. They, they've been playing in Europe a couple of times in the past. Do you want to do you want to go ahead and, and do, do you want to take us a first you know, shot at the Abida prediction? Or should I? Should I start? And is your offering to go first? Yeah, yeah, I'll go first. Uh, you sound pretty confident then, because I think you've no. only ever offered to go I'm first if you knew. I'm definitely. Is this? Are we doing a demo right now? <laughs> <laughs> I would. Uh, I would definitely not uh, say that I'm super confident, but I'm going to put this at Cloud9 winning it. 16-14. Um, I'm hoping for a super close game with uh, with Cloud9 just edging it out. You just point. want like there's no like basis for it. You just want it to be like as no. exciting a match as possible. I do want that, but I do actually feel like Cloud9 have been playing pretty damn well today, and I think LDLC have been struggling a little bit. So even though I think like overall LDLC is a slightly better team, yeah. I think uh, you know any given Sunday and, and this is it, it. I think Cloud9 are a little bit better. I think coming down to the wire, LDLC are still dealing with uh, the ability to just close games out. So I wouldn't even call it that big. I mean, Cloud9 maybe yeah, 16-12. Somewhere around there. So at some point, LDLC are going to need to give it over the hump and close a game out. And we'll see how things pan out here on the first half. LDLC starting off on your T side. Cloud9 starting off on the CT side here live from ESWC, Paris, France. And happy. it's going to be happy. He jumps right into a whole bunch of CT members. Those shots will get a good return. Can he do a little bit more? Still got two people in the apartments. He's fighting them. Got to be careful he doesn't run out of bullets. And uh, eventually, they're actually going to make their way up the middle and in towards quad as well. So... I mean, LDLC, they, they do have some control if they want it. Up in the apartment, still a weird fight going on as Shroud is trying to try and see if he can find shocks here. And at this range, this uh, USP, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, yeah, P250 is going to be pretty good, I think. Uh, but in the meantime, guess what? LDLC going for the rush at B. This is sick. Now it begins the real push. And Hiko, only man here to defend for Cloud9. His teammates are so far away, he has to land some sick shots. Stop Smiths from eviscerating him. But he's going to get back. Stabbed instead, and BK comes in for the frag, and it's a man advantage now for LDLC with the bomb planted. Nice shot from Shroud. That shuts down uh, Shocks, which is good, but it still leaves them in a pretty awkward position here. As the bomb has been ticking away already for a while, they need to get in here pretty quick. Even with the kit, they've been spending a lot of time in transit just getting here. Smith is going to take down one, goes for more. The Glock has so many bullets. It's going to be a knife fight, and Torben here knifes him once. It's a one on three, and Smith is going to got nothing. And now will be it. LDLC, they win the knife round. And not only that, they also get to stab one of the Cloud9 members. Oh, that's incredible. Nothing misjudging it. I mean, 
That's not good. You just gave the opera on the other team bonus money after they won the pistol as well. Granted, nothing had his back to the wall, but oh man, giving that to Smith is not going to help things here for Cloud9. This is a rough start for them. LDLC with that fake call as well, as special, especially, right? Shoxy up in the apartments just drawing so much attention to that side of the map. And then LDLC just come bombarding onto the B site. It works out perfectly for the Frenchman. It definitely does. Grenade out here. Sean Guest close, but he's going to get shotgun down. Hiko's next in line. P250 is not going to be nearly enough here, so... Good kills coming in, and they get into the bomb site without taking too much damage. That's actually really all they want, but Messiah is all happy he's coming up from behind and actually ready and waiting to try and close them out. <laughs> Wanted to make sure that they couldn't get away with this armor, but it's not going to be successful. Now they get a Pro 90. Or did he have a Pro 90? He looked like he had a Pro he 90 did, to me. He did. Yeah. They've already picked it up. They're just not using it. Cloud9, they're just not interested in saving it, really. They realize that... They had souls. No, they, they they must have surely picked it up. Otherwise, there's like no... Oh, my God. They what? left it. They don't touch the Pro 90. <laughs> that makes no sense. They, the only way this makes sense is if they didn't realize. They must simply not have realized that they, that it wasn't there. That's yeah, actually yeah, that's a pretty big misstep. This has a pretty big impact on the game, potentially. Well, I mean, they, granted, they still have CZs in close quarters with the P250 saved up on Shroud. So it's not the end of the world, but it's that would have still been a pretty nice party favor to leave with. Yeah, well. the, I mean, Counter Strike is a game of really, really tiny details like that, so I'd say definitely pretty important. Uh, let's see exactly where LDLC decided to go this time around again, going straight up banana. Really looking to see if Cloud9 are going to be pushing. Cloud9 options there are, you know, anti aggression, basically bombarding the top of banana and trying to push down it with the pistols and end the round or end aggression from LDLC early. LDLC putting three guys and four guys actually up there fairly quickly, really trying to, to hard counter that potential strategy coming up from Cloud9. But Cloud9, they started with a stack expecting LDLC to go for a rush, and instead. It's a still a stack with three on B, but it's on the wrong bomb site. LDLC have wrapped back around to A, and this could go south for Cloud9 fairly quickly here. Attempt to crash into the corner. Nothing still hiding right here, and he does put out a tiny bit of damage, but it feels like LDLC have guessed the right bomb site at this moment, even though nothing is going to pick up that first kill, and Smith is trying to find the angle through. Three bullets left for nothing. He's not going to pick up another kill, which leaves Hiko alone, but they're actually rotating back to B right now on the... On the terror side. Yeah, LDLC with the mind games are just, it's just looking so good. There's the flash out, and Happy will pick up Semphis, who is lurking around mid. Three remaining members here for Cloud9, just, they don't even really have too much gear to hold on to. They need to start rotating over to that B site to see if they can't do any damage, any economic damage here to LDLC, because Shoxy is still running around with that damn Nova. Like, they need to get LDLC to spend some money in the next round. $5,000 yeah. on Shoxy. Yeah, he's done a pretty good job trying to become the bank here on on the LDLC side, and he's going to try and pick up another one here. He will, so good job. Hiko, is he finally going to be able to end this madness? Doesn't look like it. He's trying to find the shot, and that is now going to be $10,000 <laughs> on shock sets, the, the round reset. So that's pretty impressive, being, you know, just four rounds in. It's $900 per kill with a shotgun, just to point that out for you. Your average kill is going to net you around $300, unless you're pulling in with an SMG, where it's like 600 apart from the Pro 90. So... Getting shotgun kills is a big problem because that because of that reason right there. Shoxy makes like five grand in a round, and all of a sudden you're looking at him just having a huge bank. That's not what you want Shoxy to have going into the remainder of this half, but it's the first buy round coming up now for Cloud9. Round four, and they've got a decent buy. Not too many nades to work with, though, and that's going to be a bit of a problem for them here because oh. LDLC, they aren't really putting it too quick. LDLC are playing a perfect timing right here. They're pushing as there was three members in B. This is, this is, I mean, almost looks like an anti-strat. Almost feels like they know that Cloud9 are about to do this. So now Shroud down in the pit. He has to come up so big for his team. Nothing coming in to help out, but he actually misses the shot a little bit, and Shroud goes down in the meantime. So still a 2-1-3 with Kiyoshima hiding inside the library. The bomb goes down, and Kiyoshima doesn't have to fight this. He can just wait, and he's going to be a really big reason why it's so tough. But they flash out, and that's going to get him killed. Good spray there by nothing. Preemptive pretty much into a two-on-two. Two. Now the bomb's still ticking down. If they can find this headshot on NBK just fast enough, it's <laughs> NBK's going to find a headshot instead, and Happy will find it on Sean Gares. Four rounds on the board for LDLC, and the money continues to climb for them. Everything so seems to be going their way. Three members from, uh, from Cloud9 ended up over here. 
which is pretty common. And generally, the way it works is you push down, use banana, see if anyone is there. If it is, you have three members to find them. And then if you don't find anyone, you rotate your way back. That's exactly what Clan and I wanted to do. But by the time they're rotating back, LDLC were already pushing the bomb side. And that's actually the really rare part. Normally, on the terrorist side, you don't just want to wrap in like that. You want to spend some time trying to see if you can get an opening or get some intel about what's happening. That's what made me think maybe LDLC oh. have been studying just a little bit what Cloud9 are up to. Perhaps picking up on it. Sick flash, but that's not going to happen. NBK is going to be able to put nothing to rest. Now Semphis, he's got the Deagle. Oh, come on. It would be fitting if he got Kiyoshima with it as well, but it's going to be happy. Double kill for him. Picks up Cloud9, who are trying to push down Banana to get that information. Shroud alive. He's got that CZ. He gets two kills. He's the last man alive, however, for Cloud9. And as soon as he peeks out, Kiyoshima will find him in the end. So LDLC now sitting on five rounds. This is a terrific start for the French team. Without a doubt, they oh can yeah. they this could lose the next ten rounds in a row, and they would still feel competitive in this uh, in this inf infernal map. Exactly right. That's the thing. We we're only looking for like five to six rounds for LDLC for them to feel good. So this is well, one of the this is pretty much the most important round here for Cloud Nine. If they let it get past, it's totally out of control. It's completely out of their control. But if Cloud Nine can stop LDLC here, at least pick up a round. This is big. Hiko gonna peek behind. It's gonna be Sean Garris to pick up the frag, and that's top banana cleared out here. And again, just to point out, Cloud9 need 10 rounds or more. Mm -hmm. This is what it's down to, because if it's a tie, it ends up being the round difference that decides everything. So this is actually a pretty big deal. The fact that it's 5-0, and oh, Cloud9, they, they, they got to start winning a bunch of rounds here. This is really their goal at this point. And Samphis is going to take down Happy. It is looking good. Grenade into the middle. And Kiyoshima takes a little bit more damage from it. He should be going down as well. Triple now from Samphis. And that's going to be a quad kill. Fantastically handled here from the American player. And that actually nets Cloud9 the first round. Nine more to go, Samla. And off of the back of Samphis, basically getting the first four kills of his own in this entire half. So that is, that's what it's all about right there, is that Semphis, he did great work in the group phase earlier on for Cloud9. He's been a guy who's been consistently delivering. It's about time that he wakes up, and they're going to need him as well. But LDLC just kind of walking in one after another into Semphis' waiting arms. There isn't really too much to fault apart from. LDLC needed to kind of just push together there in that situation and overwhelm Semphis quickly. Sean Guest checking the bottom of Banana here. And it's going to be successful in that. Doesn't spot anyone, and they're going to leave Hiko and push uh, Sean all the way back, which makes a lot of sense. That means they can have four people at the A-bomb site, and that's something that we see very often on Inferno. Wondering what LDLC are up to, though. They do have a bunch of grenades still, and even a Molotov. Could be fun to see them check with the Molotov. They're going to just rush in here and try and see if they can get uh, nothing down. They'll be successful. Coming up from Archway, Sean, yeah, he takes a quick peek, and on the other angle, we've got Semphis. He's going to be dropped down as well. They can almost do whatever they want at this point, LDLC. Well, Nico, Hiko will take out the first kill here on Kyushima. Is he going to get MBK as well? No, he won't. He probably should have. Yeah, he definitely should have. That was a sick running headshot there by NBK. That totally turns everything around here. Happy is still lurking over on the A side, but they're going to be able to make it through Arch fast enough. Shroud must have heard a step. He turns around, takes the fight, and removes Happy from the map. Two on three now as Sean Gares. He's going to see that smoke go down. He's going to go for the spray as well, but he isn't going to do too much damage here. Bomb gets planted, and now Cloud9, all the pressure on them. They do have a kit on Trout, however, so they do have a little bit of time to work with. They just need to find the shots, and LDLC pretty much have to give it to them at this point. They have to peek out for Cloud9 to have a chance here. Yeah, and if they have lose these two rifles, they won't be able to buy anything in the... Well, three of them will, but the other two won't. So these two rifles actually mean a hell of a lot. I really kind of want... Even though this is going to give us sixth round, again... Cloud9, obviously, they're playing for a win, but more than anything, they're playing to get up to those uh, nine or ten rounds that they need. Oh, wow. Two kills for one. Hmm. LDLC have the bank, though, so they can definitely afford to give up the guns. They're not concerned about that. That mm. actually really hurts Cloud9 losing that one man. Yeah, it really does. That's a that's such a such a big deal. I can't I cannot imagine anything more painful for Cloud9 right now than exiting the tournament based off of not having enough rounds. That must be the worst feeling. Uh, I'm wondering if that's playing with their heads as well, maybe going into this. We'll have to see how things develop already, though. We're not going to give up quite yet on Cloud9. They can still turn this around. NBK is going to get caught. Or rather, he's going to catch nothing out in the open. Semphis trying to take a fight and can't control the spray quite well enough. Kyokushima will take him out. And now Sean Gares has to back up. He has to hightail it out. And he actually smokes off CT for LDLC. 
And LDLC, all they want is for someone to come and fight them. They're perfectly content waiting there because I've got more than a minute left, minute left here. So if Cloud9 end up getting anxious, getting a little bit impatient and goes and looks, then they're completely ready. And this is I like this, this move from, from LDLC. Absolutely. They have all the time in the world. They can't know exactly how the positioning works here, but... Still LDLC going to be closing in on the A site and Shroud alive in pits. The last man alive here for Cloud9. He needs to hit the shots perfectly or at least try and play the angles just right. But he gets smoked off and they're going to come hunt him down and Kyushima actually catches him through the smoke. That is pretty disgusting. And that's that's got to be shattering for Cloud9 right here because they lose the buy, they lose the, the, the follow-up round to that one round they get on the board. And now they're losing the, the second round after it. They're just Their yeah. money is going to be shattered. Any hope of having momentum in this half is gone. This is so devastating. This is like watching a, you know, just a, a car crash in slow motion almost. It's and the car crash is full of puppies. Yeah, something like that. Like it, I, I almost can't think Cloudy of cloudy white puppies. Of a metaphor that's bad enough. It's Nine this is them. definitely very very. Um, it's very very hard to watch because, again, Cloud9 have been playing really well today. LDLC have been playing really well today as well. But you, like nobody wants it to come down to a round difference. Exactly right. You want it to be decisive. And, well, this is one way of doing that. This is one way of doing that. Although, no, it just it all just goes south. It all goes south, LDLC. Oh, it, yeah. This would definitely be you a see, tragedy. If LDLC hadn't lost a VP, then all of a sudden changes everything. Um, well, let's if, see. If. I mean, there's still there's still the VP match to the side a lot here, so I mean, it's it's not all over, but uh, it's definitely a little bit tricky here. No, nothing, not gonna quite pull that off. Sempus and Hiko, I mean, hell, they've even invested in pistols. It's like not they're getting a couple kills. Every little bit matters at this point. So Hiko getting up close like this, so long as he can afford to full buy in the next round, it's not that big of a deal. Even if he were to get taken out, it would be almost better for him to just try and find a frag somewhere. So. Try and make LDLC spend a little bit of money, even though they've they're pretty much you know sitting on the bank of Dubai. Yeah, they have a lot going on for them here. Oh, there you go, Hiko, mad spray gets the headshot on Kyoshima. And at this point, they're about to just go up with the bomb. If they can keep one guy here long enough, they will be able to get out of range. However, and that is going to be a big boom, and no bo nobody else from LDLC falling. So, all right, let's see nine. We're going into the 10th round. Cloud9 buy up. Anders, do you see them doing going for aggression here? I mean, to just try and, like, either yeah. three guys push down Banana, try and clobber Switch LDLC the there. Pace. Switch up the pace, right? Just try and catch the LDLC off guard. They just could. They could, by all rights, try and do that. It wouldn't be such a bad idea, actually. Again, just try and get as many round on the board. See if they can actually end up just, like, securing that, that first seed in the group. Would be kind of nice. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm wondering how if that has had an influence on Cloud9's play at all. But there we go. Nothing starting off strong. Instant retort, however. NBK takes him out. Sempus does manage to take out Shoxi, who was pu trying to push up on short. And now Sean Gare is rotated over to Speedway. This is now turning into a bit of a brawl, however. It's just Cloud9 getting picked up left and right. We're into a two-on-two -two all of a sudden. LDLC will manage to get the bomb plant as well. NBK, he has the bomb. He's got support from Smith, who's in the pit. But NBK has the bomb, so he should be able to get the plant eventually here. Yeah, they're really waiting. Like, a little see are trying to play really smart, and uh, and it's a good idea. They really want to see if Cloud9 are going to get anxious. Oh, Hiko, could he not see that? Sean Gares is going to pick up the first kill. That leaves it down to Smiths here, all alone. They should be able to win a second round, finally. Smiths is going to go down, and they do not have the kit, but there's going to be enough time anyway. So, second round on the board here for Cloud9, obviously a, a pretty big deal. Yeah, and I think that was it. It was just it was going for that flush a moment there, Hiko. Of course, Hiko 2-0-7 right now, so him coming in and making those kinds of plays is crucial. But they, the best case scenario now is that Cloud9 pick up seven rounds in this half, and they have to get the remaining rounds. So let's see if they can do it. Once again, not too, nothing too crazy there for Cloud9, though. It really kind of felt like you, you threw the deck of cards up, and then Cloud9 kind of just like randomly picks up a, you know, a flush or something like that. Yeah. At the end of the day, in LDLC, you know, they get like two pair, and they're like, sweet, two pairs pretty good. And then, no, sorry, it isn't. Oh, Smith's boosted up on top of the, uh, or the player down there, which is a pretty common thing. Sean Gare's not quite ready for it. 
And he's still got Hiko over here. And I'm wondering if there's a smoke he could go and pick up from Sean up there. Would be kind of cool if he if he manages to steal another smoke away. Obviously a cool uh, little setup coming out here from the other Cloud9 members. That's Shroud and Semphis waiting at the exact same angle but a div different uh, sort of height difference. And maybe that could net them a kill eventually. And not exactly what you see too often of it either. Usually you see them kind of hugging the wall there. So Cloud9 changing it up. Semphis now turning away for that flash. Wants to prevent it getting blinded if it happens. LDLC, however, they're slowly working their way over to B. They've got all four members gathered right up outside, and it's going to be Hiko. He does have support from Nothing, who's over on Speedway, however, so they could potentially set up the crossfire. But there go the nades, and now LDLC, they're about to speed up into this site, and there's the perfect anti-flash. They do manage to turn in time, but Hiko hits the double, and Nothing picks up. He Hiko. actually kills Hiko. That was a team kill for the smoke. Oh, no. Now Nothing has to redeem himself. He walks in here, tries to do a little bit. His teammates are really far away, especially Semphis taking a very long time to actually get out of this bomb site, and that could definitely be a problem for them. And Nothing is going to go down. That leaves Semphis and Shroud to try and retake it. Two on three. That round was looking good right up until that last bullet from Nothing. And now you really got to be worried. Oh. Semphis charging in. He goes down to Happy. It's a one on three for Shroud. And the bomb is already so far ticked, they took a long time. Grenade, yeah, it's good, but it's not good enough. Smith coming up with a triple kill. It's going to be 9-2 to two here. LDLC doing horrible things to Cloud9. That, exactly, and just lady luck right there. Nothing, you know, you want to set up that crossfire because you know that four guys are about to come barreling through, right? Hiko just does masterful work with the double spray. It's, it, if he stays alive even like a second longer there, that could make the difference. But that's just, it's just it. A stray bullet from nothing does it. And that is going to be another round on the board for LDLC. Best case scenario now, Cloud9, is that they pick up the remaining four. And they clearly have that in mind. They've gone for a four spy. They know they desperately need to get more rounds on the board. NBK, however, he has no mercy. He has no soul. He's not going to let them do it. Well, Grenade is going to finish off Shoxy, so there's something working. But you're right, they forced up this round because they realize they really need a lot more than this. Oh, man. NBK has lost the beard of compassion. He shaved off his beard, man. Happy two with a, a good double kill. And he's going to try and find out Sean. Brings him down to eight health. And Sean is going to make a run for it. Can't really blame him for it. I don't know what to say. Well, the fact of the matter is Cloud9 are making pressure plays. And they aren't managing to land the shots. Like NBK is pissed off again. Just like on Cash versus VP. 14-2-4. I mean, that's that's a that's a stellar score line for his, for a T side half. Like that is yeah. truly good work. And Smiths as well. Once Smiths gets that AWP, that change of pace right there. You know, LDLC showing like this is the problem here is that Cloud9 aren't forcing LDLC to change up often enough. I mean, clearly, you know, LDLC are able to just kind of rinse and repeat because it's working versus Cloud9. And every time Cloud9 win around, LDLC are like, okay, we'll just change up what we do again, and then they just catch Cloud9 off guard again. So it's I just. Cloud9 aren't pushing LDLC hard enough. I do kind of wonder if at this point, yeah, Cloud9 maybe came into this match thinking, okay, look, boys, yeah. as long as we can, as long as we can get 10 rounds, then we are, we're, we're through first in the, in the group and we'll be fine. And, you know, who doesn't win 10 rounds on Inferno? Well, sometimes you don't. And this is, this is turning definitely out to be one of those times. This could end up being a really crushing defeat for, uh, for Cloud9. Which doesn't mean necessarily I think that they're out of the group, but then it comes... I think... I'm not even sure if VP... Yeah, maybe VP... I don't, I don't know where the round difference is between Cloud9 and VP, but I don't think it's enough. No, I think... Um, I think then they go to... Um, if they faced, and Cloud9 beat VP. Yeah. So... I don't know. I th we'll have to check up on the rules. Unfortunately, I don't have a PC, so I can't check, but... Hiko in the smoke is going to deny Smith, so that's a really good kill here. They're a man up as well. Cloud9, can they finally pick up a third round? Well, Semphis is going to try and make sure he picks up the AK as well and try to see if he can go and work on Shoxy, but he's a little bit too aggressive and it's going to end up going down. Still no bomb plant, but a one on two here for nothing. And he's going to go down double for Shox and double for Happy. And even in these rounds where it looks like Cloud9 should have the advantage, they should be able to, to make it a little bit better. They just... They're taking fights. They're taking fights yeah. that they may not necessarily even need to take. They're not letting... Uh, they're not... You know, Semphis going for the repeat, right, versus Shoxy. He didn't necessarily need to, to do that. He could have held back and tried to coordinate with his teammates to put that AK to better use rather than just trying to take a straight-up fight without Kevlar. Shoxy lands the first shot. His aim is ruined. And then it just kind of devolves from there. Already, we're just going to have this buy round coming in here. Sean Gares does manage to pick up one. It's going to be Hiko trying to do it as well. 
over on the other side, but this is now LDLC rushing up on short. Great flash in by nothing. That's going to open the gates. He's going to get a double spray down. Shroud will take out Shoxi, and all of a sudden, we're looking at a Cloud9 round. That really was an expert grenade. You're absolutely right, and it's going to be nothing to pick up the last one. So great triple kill. But I mean, two of the rounds that they have so far, one of them, I think it was Semphis picking up a quad kill. This time, it's nothing with a triple. So Cloud9 seem to revolve right now around one person just doing a lot more than they should need to do. This is, at best, 11-4 for Cloud9. Exactly right. And no problem at all for LDLC to pretty much buy all the toys. Shiny, brand new. Sean Gares, though, got the AWP. And we haven't seen this yet, so this is pretty sick. Could this actually work? Will LDLC not be expecting this and peak in mid? It could be a bit of an opportunity for this here. Yeah, right now, they're playing it pretty safely with shots just making some noise. They check the top of Banana on the on the terrorist side, just making sure no one's up there. And then they... Now they can sort of roam around and do whatever they want, basically. Well, they could be playing right into Sean Gares' waiting arms. No, it's going to be another B play. LDLC are merciless. They've had so much success on B site. Why change now, right? They have a lot of Molotovs, which makes me suspicious. Are we about to hear Johnny Cash? Uh, well, it could be. Shocks. Well, that's just a smoke. I'm looking for a little bit more. Are these Molotovs? There's one. All the way in the back. Is there going to be a little bit more? Well, now they push in, and Semphis and Hiko are ready, pushing through the smokes. Molotovs or no, Cloud9 is ready to shut them down, and it's going to be just shocks left here in a one on three. So, nice attempt here from LDLC. They've been very successful at the B bomb side, but this time it's not going to be quite enough. So, it does end at 11 4, which is still pretty disastrous for Cloud9. But, um, yeah, again. This is not about winning it. This is about the round difference at this point. Exactly right. And about who makes it up first seed. So, I mean, LDLC at this point, um, well, actually, yeah, at this point, they, they, they should be very close to doing it. They, uh, yeah. yeah. Hey, and it's, it, what's settled here is, like, Cloud9, if they get knocked down, I mean, it's almost like a three-way tie, isn't it? Yeah. I, I mean, that's a VP win as well. Yeah, if VP win and, Cl and, 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 and uh, sorry, and LDLC win... Then, yeah, it is. And then it's the round difference. And then it is just round difference. And for, for that to happen, Cloud9, they say that they need 10 rounds. 10 rounds, then their first CI, I believe. And then, well then. I'm assuming... I don't know what I don't know what the difference to, to well, BP, that's the thing. If LDLC... Yeah. This is just what the admin was telling us. So, uh, so I mean, I don't have a PC, so I can't check up on the, the thing is, But the thing is, I think if LDLC win it and Cloud9 get tied with VP, I think... Well, Cloud9 beat VP earlier today. And I think that's what goes off of it. Rather than the round yeah, difference, it it's going to be, you know, if you beat them in the past or not in the group, in, you know, earlier group matches. It could be. Regardless, well, I mean, there's a huge crowd actually gathered up now to watch this. Powers are actually standing behind LDLC. Pretty cool. Uh, this is now going to be the one round, the big round, potentially to settle it all. And Cloud9 have gathered up. They're going to give LDLC a bit of a taste of their own medicine. They've gathered up towards B. Oh, but wait a peak. minute. Yeah, not flashed in, just peeking out naked, and the re-peek coming in. Semphis with a good headshot, looked like almost Shox shot his own teammate. Shox with a great double kill, they walk right in front of him, and Semphis and Hiko, in a split second, they're gone from the world, and it's going to be down to the A push here. MBK up on the balcony, he hears them coming, calling for a backup C set, 75 kill first, follow up as well with just two bullets or three bullets, and that's going to be it. LDLC crushing Cloud9 in the second uh, half pistol round. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What is possible when you have one of the best pistol players in the world and also NBK mad. NBK gets a double with the CZ. Perfect position there. Shoxy as well. Shoxy, I mean, just Shoxy. It's just Shoxy, right? The ability to just run and gun and hit the headshots like that is just stunning. And that is pretty much like there's... It's not like Cloud9 got outthought at any point. They just got outplayed. Yeah, and potentially also came into the match with just a, a very different mentality than they normally would be. You know, they came in worried about the round difference, worried about seeds going into the playoffs and everything else, and now potentially they put themselves in an interesting position. One match at a time, right? One match at a time. But nothing has got a Pro 90, and this could change everything. Is it really only Kiyoshima? Yeah, it is only Kiyoshima alive on the A site solo right now. With one health. And he's up in the apartments... Nothing Ooh. is going for the apartments. This could change it. Happy is rotating over to the A site now, however, so nothing. No. He avoids death or he extends it for like another two seconds until he's going to run into Happy. P90 versus Deagle. And that's it. And Happy celebrating, emptying the whole clip. 13 to 4. And there we have it. It's going to be the pistol armor. 
pistol armor buy. This is it, Cloud9. They real. I mean, it's they've had plenty of opportunities to realize that they're really, basically there is no going back. They need to get more rounds on the board, and this means a force buy again out of Cloud9. So pistol armor picked up, nades to go with it, and now Cloud9. Do they go for straight play? They're going to go straight up second mid. No AWP here for LDLC, but it looks like second mid straight up into apartments. And Kyushima's here with the Swag 7. He could ruin their day so bad, but Shroud is going to get him first. Great shot there by Shroud to open things up. The man advantage now for Cloud9, and they continue to push. Yeah, they need to see if they can do a little bit more at this point. Smith's down in the pit. They're all jumping down. He's going to pick up two great kills. Still alive. He's finally going to get taken out. Shock's inside here. Pistol in hand, and they're trying to see if they can overwhelm him. He's going to drop down, and that leaves MBK. In a one on three, picks up the first one, tries to see. Is he gonna spot the bomb planter? He's going for it here. Hiko just trying to stay safe. And MBK is eventually gonna go down as a good double kill from both Hiko and Semphis to bring Cloud9 at least another round here. But LDLC wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna force it up. They have so much room to give, right? They can absolutely do it. And there we go. No hesitation out of them. They just go straight for it. They have enough for some rifles, four rifles in fact, and plenty of nades. This is definitely a good buy here for LDLC, whereas Cloud9, they only get to save two guns from the last round, so still a little light on nades for them. But they do have the rifles, the three AKs, so not going for the same kind of play, but this is definitely Cloud9 getting full control of the A side of the map. Yoshima playing short. Every time they just swapped Kyoshima over here, LDLC. They put him here because it's just like, you're going to get kills and you're going to be really damn good at it. And it's pretty scary when Kyoshima comes out ahead and does massive damage to nothing already. And yeah, not at all a bad start. What are they doing on the. I mean, they don't really have a lot of grenades to go for really elaborate stuff, but they could easily have enough to go for a B push, right? Three smokes is actually, is actually plenty. You know, obviously smoking off classic spots mm -hmm. so I uh, wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna try and go for something like that and actually if they do I would much rather have them have maybe just the one person instead of both people up in apartments um, I think that's maybe be a little bit light but I mean MBK is the only one defending so maybe it is gonna work out this could work exactly MBK is alone right now they could potentially rotate Yoshima back over again but MBK is gonna be here he gets the first kill on the Gares and now the game is up the rotation could potentially come in here from LDLC they're still holding off they still haven't seen the bomb and NBK hasn't had eyes on it yet either this is why it's taking so long for LDLC to get in here, but Shroud and nothing, finding frags, and this is huge. Now Cloud9 need to take the fight, and Shroud is going to get another one. Pretty impressive work, right? Because that definitely meant that the rest of LDLC were also going to stay in that A-bomb side as soon as they heard someone stepping around the middle. And uh, you're right, without having spotted the bomb, instantly they thought this could just be a fake. Um, so pretty good stuff. Shocks and Happy just trying to run away, and Cloud9 is going to be a sixth round here. This is big. Now Cloud9 starting to get quite a bit of momentum. And LDLC, I mean, they realize that they're losing control on this, holding on to the two guns. Their money can't be looking too good right now. And so LDLC, I mean, if they start to lose control, Cloud9, they had a horrendous CT half, but they can bring it back in the T half, no problem at all. So this is, I mean, this, if they can get the bank on their side. And there we go, LDLC, if they decide to go for a force here, that is madness and they will not they're just going to be upgrading a little bit they de they have the space they still have two guns so get a couple of nades play it a little bit uh, cheeky and we'll see if they can come out ahead here versus cloud nine but cloud nine have everything going their way here in this round yes they definitely do so the 10 or the the nine ten rounds are still inching closer trying to get there kiyoshima he really Ooh. wanted that one deke we haven't actually seen uh, too many deagle shots in, in this tournament so far. There's Bet room for improvement. Yeah, definitely. Kyushima usually one to deliver as well. Mad spray from Shoxy. Sean cares as well. They're dancing on the edge. Shoxy manages to get out of there intact. Well, he's got 12 health, so almost. And the follow-up grenade catches him in pit. Unbelievable. He's going to be happy waiting for somebody actually goes for the pre-fire but they should be running away and saving this rifle nbk he could look for exits if he wants to yeah, exactly that's kind of what's uh, what's going to happen if cloud nine kind of get ahead of themselves and start hunting that's when nbk can turn and you know spring the trap basically but the smokes are going to go down and now cloud nine they're really playing it so very carefully they know that everything hinges on them maintaining money and once they make sure that LDLC aren't going for any kind of trickery, no boosts, no hiding, nothing like that, then they start to move out on the map. NBK has played this very sneakily so far. Sean Gares 
could manage to actually get picked up, but he's still going to get the kill versus MBK. Happy, though. That M4, he should be able to hold on to it here. They can't yeah. possibly get here fast enough. No, they're not going to be able to punch this. So yeah, 7 to 13. Six round difference. I'm not really worried about LDLC losing this this game. It feels like to me that's that's not going to happen. But um, this money on Cloud9 to get those rounds, I mean, that, so long as they can keep buying, it's uh, it's absolutely possible. LDLC are definitely not out of the woods yet. We can't act like they've already got this in the bag. This is very interesting now. We've got a real match on our hands with Cloud9 managing to claw their way back in here. And now, once again, Cloud9 really just going for what works. They're going to get up into apartments. They're doubling up this time in A apartments. Just in case somebody was going to be holding. Because Shoxi has been seen in the hallways fairly often. They want to make sure they can get the punish in the refrag. Four potential people over here. One is kind of falling back to B now. Playing over at Archway is, uh, is happy. Shox, it's a pretty good angle. Really hard to check this one if you're coming right out, but he's got to make sure his teammate stays alive. Good shot here. Smith has also picked up one in the background. Shoxy with a double in. Smith with a double of his own. He's going to leave Shroud all alone. So this was a pretty good setup to deal with the strategy that Cloud9 had coming into this round. That was absolutely, yeah, that was brutal. Shoxy as well. I mean, they still had to worry about a man holding from Pit. They, weren't, they didn't get confirmation. It was just Cloud9 acting on information that it was so difficult for them to actually... Get whereas LDLC set up perfectly on short. Three guys, all three of them watching on short, works perfectly to catch them if they try and rush out through balcony like Cloud9 did. Shoxy in particular, okay. that made right there. That is that is pain. Yeah, that actually broke his nose before it then also exploded in his face. So that's pretty bad. At least the explosion probably like cauterized the bleed, but it's still pretty bad. That's going to be 14 rounds for LDLC now, just two away. Cloud9 can still buy, which is good news, but that definitely was a bit of a shutdown round for them. They, they pretty much lost everything uh, without doing, doing much. Without doing too much, exactly. They're crossing that line now. Cloud9, they look pretty tense as well. Manager looking up to the heavens. But Zeus isn't on your team. Actually, Zeus is standing right behind him. That's perfect timing, Zeus. Thank you. All right. LDLC. LDLC is still managing to play very passively. Although they do have a bit of the, the, the sneak here. Happy he's going to get flashed in by his mate. Takes the fight versus Sean Garris. He can't be allowed to escape and he will not. One for one trade at top banana. Definitely favors Cloud9. Yes, it will. Can they make can they make something of it? They are rotating a couple of people over. So maybe striking the A-bomb side right about now would be uh, not such a bad idea for a... Uh, for the American team. Smith's playing very close to the middle here. It looks like they might try and go quad side, which would be even better. Kiyoshima can be dealt with, especially if they manage to end just one smoke here, but Smith is coming in. That's a good headshot now. It's back into a three on four with LDLC having the man lead. Plenty of time over at Archway, a fight going on. Semphis is gonna come out on top of that one. Now it's down into the bomb site. Smith's the only one holding tight here, and he's got almost no health. He's still gonna pick up the headshot, turns around, gets another one. That's a triple. He goes for a little bit more. He's out of bullets, and Hiko just wants to get this bomb down, which is a crazy idea. He's gonna get killed. Finally, Smith is down. That took a lot of manpower, and he took three people with him. Hiko has to try and clutch this. It's gonna be match point here for LDLC. If he don't, he throws up the one pistol, tries to fake it as a Flashbang, he goes again and he's going to go down. NBK cannot be killed. And that is going to be 15 to 7. Match and map point here for LDLC. Man, Smith. He, he, he took a lot. That was like great bo boss level Smith. That was so... I mean, for one, for Hiko not to clutch it. Two, for Smiths to pull off one headshot instantly. Semphis was definitely trying to gamble there as well, trying to offset the angle that Smiths would be uh, would be pre-aiming. But then for Smiths to hit that shot and then pull a 180 and get another one, absolutely ridiculous. Ludicrous individual play coming through here for LDLC, and it doesn't stop now. Shoxi is going to be picking up the initial frag, and already Hiko does manage to return happy will be taken out as well. Four on four now. Cloud9 still gathered up outside of B, but it's fairly even as far as the exchange. It oh, is. but the read, the read from LDLC. It is looking pretty good here. They're going to walk right into a giant trap, and MBK actually goes down anyway. Point blank range. Follow up kill from Sean Gares on Kiyoshima. It's going to leave Smiths all the way in the background here, trying to hold on to the bomb side. They line up for him. He's going to get another two kills. A third kill. You've got to be kidding me. Now it's down to Smiths in a one on four. He's going to get it. He kills everybody, and it's going to be 16 rounds. LDLC destroy Cloud9 here.